Hello, everybody, and welcome to week number five of the 2022 high school football season. From the Valley, it's Clear Fork hosting the Galleon Tigers. I am Brian Harder, along with Bruce Weirich. Welcome to the Mansfield Roofing and Home Improvement pregame show. And I can't believe I'm going to say this. We are at the midway point of the 2022 season already. It seems like yesterday that the season started. Oh, left side walks into the, no, it's a fake and it's gonna to be to the outside. It's Robeson for a touchdown. A nice fake by Victor Skoog and Clear Fork on the board as Ty Robeson, the senior, goes around the right edge. Crosser, and he can run with the ball as well. Gets over inside the 40, down inside the 35 yard line. So the Galleon quarterback continues the offensive execution for the Tigers and they have another first down. I am very, very impressed with what Galleon's doing right now on this Colt defense. Coming into the game, I didn't know who was gonna win the line of scrimmage, but right now it looks like Galleon linemen are doing the job up front. And he's looking for number nine right here, and he's gonna be stopped in the backfield on a nice play Ooh. by Bowie Holtz. He said, not on my watch. Prosser around the near side, and he got, did he get in? No. no. Wow, he was stopped shy of the goal line, so the defense for Clear Fork holds. Colts not looking for 10 nothing, they're looking for 14 nothing. Schlosser cuts back, bulldozes his way into the end zone for a touchdown. So Luke Schlosser from eight yards out. Man, we were talking about field goals a couple of seconds ago, and. The Colts decide we're just going to skip that part of it and just punch it into the end zone. Yeah, that great blocking up front. And the thing I like what these backs are doing, they're reading. And they fake it, and they're going to go for two. Skoog makes it look easy. Victor Skoog with the two-point conversion and Claire Fork up 15-0. Jack Hart with a 30-yard try. Kick is up, it's got the distance, and it is good. And the pitch to Alt. Alt cuts back, gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Powie Alt hits pay dirt, and Clear Fork answers the field goal by Gallion with a four yard touchdown run by Powie Alt. Skoog around the left side, gets into the end zone for a touchdown. So from nine yards out, Victor Skoog says, hey, I want to get into this touchdown parade. And he scoots into the end zone for six. Ivy, left side gets into the end zone for a touchdown. So Clear Fork's defense gave up the first touchdown of the night. But they still enjoy a 19 point lead with 434 to go in the third. And Scoo back to throw on first down, looks over the middle, has the receiver, it's gonna be caught at the 20-yard line. And they go for a lot of real estate. Logan Anderson hauls it in, and don't look now, but Clear Fork threatening again here in the third quarter. A touchdown by Clear Fork as Schlosser gets into the end zone again from 12 yards out. That should be the final play with the win. Clear Fork is now 4-1 overall. They are 2-0 in the MOAC. And Galleon drops to 2-3 overall. They are 1-1 one one in conference play. The final score tonight, Clear Fork 36 and Galleon 10.